Hello everyone. Welcome to DigitalOcean's walkthrough video of the release of VPC Peering Alpha feature via Feature Preview. VPC Peering is a feature that allows customers to connect two different VPCs via DigitalOcean's private backbone and enable resources inside those different VPCs to communicate with each other on a private IP without the exposure to public internet. On July 9th, we released the ability to peer different VPCs of the same data center. Today, we are extending that alpha release behind feature preview for all customers, including the ability to peer VPCs of different data centers. Feature preview is a way for all DigitalOcean customers to try out the new features in alpha and beta releases. You should be able to see the feature preview under the team dropdown. Upon clicking the feature preview, you should be able to see what features are available for you to try out. As you can see, I have enabled the VPC Peering Alpha Feature Preview. Anyone who enables VPC Peering via Feature Preview can enjoy two key features. Number one, they can enable intra-DC VPC Peering. That is, they get the ability to peer VPCs within a single data center. Number two, they can enable inter-DC VPC Peering. That is, they get the ability to peer VPCs located in different data centers. The scope of this peering connectivity is limited to droplets and databases for this release. That is, you can connect droplets located in different VPCs and different DCs, or you can connect droplets to databases that is completely located in different VPCs and different data centers. We do not support the connectivity between Kubernetes pods and services across different VPCs at this point. We will support them in the future releases. You can either create droplets and then create the VPC peering connection, or you can create the peering first and then create the droplets. For the purpose of this demo, I have already created two droplets, one in the Tor1 data center and one in the SID1 data center. I have also created a MongoDB database in Tor1 data center for the purpose of this demo. I'm going to demo VPC peering between Tor1 and SID1 in this walkthrough. For this demo, I'm interested in peering SID1 VPC02 with Tor1 VPC01. And I have already installed resources in these VPCs. So if we go to SID1 VPC02, you can see the droplet SID1. And if we go to Tor1 VPC01, you should be able to see the resources where you can see the droplet Tor1. Now, before establishing the peering connection, I would like to test the connectivity between these two data centers on a private IP. So I would like to get the private IP address of this particular resource in the SID1 VPC02 VPC. And I'm going to log into the Tor1 droplet and try ping this IP. As you can see, the ping is unsuccessful which is obvious because there's no peering between these two DCs. Now let's go back to this VPC and go to peering connections and click create. Now, since we are inside the VPC, the source VPC network gets automatically selected. Now I'm going to pick the Tor1 VPC01 and I'm going to name, name the peering connection and click create. It's going to take a few seconds before it gets complete. Yes, the creation is complete. Now we go back to the droplet in Tor1 and ping the private IP of the droplet in SID1. As you can see, the pings are successful. Now we can also test the connectivity between the droplet in Tor1 and database in SID1. Just to double check, let's go to the databases and see if the database is located in the SID1 VPC02 because that's the VPC we have established the peering with. Yes, it's in SID1 VPC02. Now let's go back. Since we already established the peering, I can just try using the connectivity command of MongoDB. Yes, as you can see, the connectivity got established between the droplet in Tor1 and the database in SID1. You can also disable the VPC peering via feature preview. 
only thing to remember is upon disabling, you won't be able to create new VPC peering connections, but the previously peered VPCs will stay intact until you manually destroy them. And the way you do that is go to networking, go to VPC, and select the respective peering connection you want to delete and click the three dots and delete connection. Once you click delete peering connection, the connection gets destroyed. That's it. The additional piece of information is when you create the droplets, you have to add a static route. Um, as we mentioned in our earlier video, we are working on uh, automating this. But today, you have to manually install those routes in the initialization script of the droplet creation, or you can create a shell script up here. You can see these three static route commands that you might need and uh, run the script before you try connecting the resources. This is because the static route will establish connectivity between two different VPCs. Now, get onto your Duo account and try out the VPC peering through the feature preview. Watch out for the beta release of the same, followed by Kubernetes support in the upcoming weeks. Thanks again. Happy coding.